Users AliExpress dropshipping tutorial for beginners. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how you can get started with dropshipping on Shopify using Deezers. So Deezers is an online platform that enables you to make sure that your dropshipping goes smoothly. It lets you dropship products from AliExpress and your orders would be directly sent to your suppliers. Deezers serves as a middle party that helps you in automating most of your dropshipping. So let's get into how you can get started with dropshipping on Deezers and Shopify. So to get started, first we have to download Deezers into our Shopify store. Now to be able to do that, it's a few simple and easy steps. Simply click on settings on the bottom left, scroll down, and then you will click on apps and sales channels on the left panel. Once you click on over here, click on Shopify app store on the top right. And this will open up the Shopify app store. From here, you want to search for Deezers and there is going to be an application called Deezers AliExpress Dropshipping. So you want to select this particular application where the developer should be Deezers and just click on install over here. Once you do that in a new tab, it will open up the Shopify installation page. So over here, you're just going to click on install. And once you have done that, this will lead you to the Deezers page. Now, from here, it's going to ask you to create your account or change your account. So if it's already logged on to your account, you can just proceed. Or if you don't have an account, you can click on create account over here and sign up with your email address and a password. Now, I already have an account, so I'm just going to log in. But the sign up process is pretty much the same. You just use a email and password and you verify your email and that is it. Now, once you have logged on to your Deezer's account, you're going to click on confirm over here to confirm that you want to link your Shopify store to this particular Deezer's account. Now, from here, you're going to just select your Shopify store if you can't see it. So this is our Shopify store over here. And we are just going to link our store like this. Now you will see on the bottom, you have an option to link more stores as you go. And you will see how many stores you can connect on your particular Deezer's account as well. Now, once you have completed the installation, you can head on over back into your Shopify dashboard and go into your apps. And you will be able to see Deezer's over here. You can open that up. And you will actually see a mini version of Deezers directly in Shopify. So you can even browse over here if you want. But I like to open it up in a fuller screen and directly work on Deezers. So this is our Deezers account over here. You can go into your account to see more account settings, which plan of Deezers you are on. You will see you have different plans on Deezers as well, so you can upgrade to be able to link more stores. You will see your import list, your home section, your partner section, and then you will also have supplier optimizers, supplier marketplaces, as well as your orders, archived orders, tracking, settings, and subscriptions. So you can go into your general settings to be able to see all of your basic settings for your particular products, as well as shipping, supplier management, and more. Now you can go into stores management over here, and this will show you all of the stores that you currently have. So you can go on ahead and delete a store if you no longer want it to be connected to your Deezer's account like this. Now, once you have done that, we are going to actually go on ahead and start with our dropshipping store where we are going to find our products. So don't ever worry that Deezers is going to be linked permanently to your store. You can always unlink it from Shopify. But to be able to find some good products on Deezers, you can just go on to the Deezers section and you can go into find suppliers or supplier optimizer. And you can, if you're looking for trendy products, you can just start browsing the premium selection that they have and their top picks. However, if you're looking for something specific, so I want to search for dresses like this. This will show me multiple different types of dresses. Let's say I like this one or let's say I like summer dresses. So I'll just search for summer dresses 
and we are going to just browse them a little like this so let's say we like this one over here and we can just click on that particular listing and it will open up the aliexpress listing in a new tab now once it opens up the aliexpress listing in a new tab you can actually see the listing in detail and see all of the information that you need about that listing so the description, the product variations, colors, as well as, you know, the general supplier information can be found as well. Now, once you have decided on a particular product, you can go into this section over here. So you have the supplier optimizer, which will show you this specific product. And it's actually going to take that picture and show you other suppliers that are selling the same product. So you can find similar products at different price points. This is at $20, around $20, and this one is listed at around $40. So I think I have the better supplier over here. And once you have decided on your product, you will click on add to import list on this icon. And once we have gone ahead and added that to our import list, we're gonna go to our import list over here. Now this is our import list. This list is where you can keep all the products that you like and you want to to, you know push to your Shopify store but you're still considering them you can find similar products and then weigh in which ones you want to push to your store and which ones you might not want in your Shopify store so from here you guys can see this is my product now for this product I don't want to directly import it as it is I want to edit it a little so for that I will go into edit products over here on this pen icon and this is a very long title, so I am going to first off select my Shopify store. I can enter, you know, the type and all that as well. Now, after that, we have the title, which is a bit too long for me. So I'm going to change it to Floral Printed Dress. And I'm going to select our product like so. And then after that, I am going to go into the variant section. Now in the variants, I can select all variants if I want to import all of them. However, let's say I only want the variants in the pink and gray color to be imported. So I will select these ones over here and the green one won't be listed on my Shopify store. Now you will see the price compare at price and the stock on store from here as well. And then once we have done that, we can also, you know, edit the overall options that are provided. So I am going to edit the green option and just, you know, you can choose to just remove it because it's no longer going to be applicable. But within that, we also have our price. Now you guys can see you can hike up the price however you want. Let's say for us, this is going to be slightly higher like this. And you can price different variants at different price points as well. So one variant might cost more than the other one as well. Once you do that, you have your product images. So I'm going to deselect all of those and just select a couple of images. I don't want repetitive images over and over again. So I'm just going to select this image and this size chart image. And then after that, we have the shipping info. Now from here, you can select the country you want to ship to. Let's say I want to ship to Canada and you can search for it as well like this and then find your shipping rates and you can list them accordingly. Let's say I want to provide AliExpress standard shipping so I can choose that. And then once I've done that, I can choose to save these edits and then push to my store later or I can just directly click on push to store. So. I'm going to click on push to store, select my store, and then you have your preferences. So I will have the pricing rule applied to my product and this will manually edit the price. Uh, I want to publish to our online store and only push product specifications. Now I might not want to put in the pricing rule because I've set my own pricing. So I'm going to click on push to stores like this and just like that, if we go into our Shopify store over here, it's going to take a couple of seconds for it to be synced up. But you guys can see our dress is now live on our Shopify store, just like that. So in this way, you can get started with Deezer's dropshipping and start importing products and start your own dropshipping business within any niche on Shopify. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe.